Hey guys, do you remember the video I did of homelessness in Beaver County where I showed you that one particular shelter that a person was staying at? Well, not really a shelter, uh, an under, under the ground here. Well, this is the exact location that acts like a sort of an underground bridge. And uh, I'm here to report that no one is occupying this space anymore. So one of two things have happened. One, they got out or on their own volition, or two, they were forced to abdicate this residence by order of the police department or borough. So I really don't know. But what I am showing you is emptiness. They used to have things on the shelves here, like jars of coffee and snacks, things of that nature. The person was sleeping right down here in the video that I had made. The bed was right along here. Nothing's here. Now, I came down here at the beginning of the summer, and this was all enclosed. You, can't, you could not enter right here where my hand is at without going through these big thickets of weeds that they had on both sides. Along there, they've trimmed. The burrows come down here and trim these. It's probably recent. And at that time, there was still evidence of someone staying down here, I think. At least the remnants were here. Their coffee containers... Uh, instant cream, coffee cream containers, a couple of jars of snacks and things like that were still set on top of these shelves here. And they had a big piece of cardboard that they were sleeping on. If you remember from the first video, you'll see all that in the earlier video, the previous video that I made. Nothing's here, as you can see. This is a very short video, but I just wanted to post an update. It is my view and my hope that whoever was here has found a place to live. I pray that they have and that they never find themselves in that situation again. It is also my hope that if they were forced to leave, maybe the police department or the borough, who whoever forced this person, if that was the case to leave here, that they helped that person get into a residence. That is also my hope. Either way, I like the fact that there is nobody here living under a bridge because that's just not a way to live, obviously. It's very clean. There's nothing here. You would never know that someone had spent an entire winter down here. That's my guess anyway. So I just wanted to give you an update. I thought it was important since a lot of you were concerned and were asking questions and things of that nature. So if you know somebody that's homeless, please, you know, try to get them the help they need. If someone out there is watching this and is homeless and they need help, uh, DM me. You can get a hold of me through markgrego.com, my email address and this channel. So I will try to do the best I can to get you out of your situation and I will help you. I, I will give, I will at least put you in touch with folks who can be of invaluable service to you. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. So this is a, this is a happy update. It is. At least nobody's here. Nobody's, you know, hiding from the elements. So anyways, I, I, I do think that's good news. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'd love to hear your view about this. So don't hesitate to drop me a line. See you in the next one.